welcome from the Tech ID Europe 2019. My name is Maria and I'm standing here with Raphael. He's the head of safety platform group at Hella. Hi. Hi, nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you for taking this time um, to have a quick chat with me. Can you briefly introduce yourself and your position that you're having at Hella? Yeah, so I studied computer science uh, back then on the University of Paderborn in Germany. I did also some freelancer software development. Then afterwards, I made my PhD in the faculty of uh, machine engineering, mechanical engineering, I mean, with the topic of system engineering uh, for mechatronic systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, the focus was uh, how to make them safe and reliable. Mm -hmm. And after this step, I started as functional safety manager at Hella because this topic safety yeah. has been always there somewhere uh, in this career uh, on the way to it. And um, yeah, and now I'm leading since uh, more than four years uh, the topic of safety, especially for autonomous driving, for ADA systems, radar, camera, LiDAR base, also electric power steering, and also the topic of safety for advanced engineering. So if you take all of these topics together, mm -hmm. you see we are strongly, um, let us say, covering the topics of autonomous driving. And that is also why I'm here on this conference, because this is our topic, how to do the autonomous driving up to level five a topic for the future for the next years. Like you said, you have a lot of um, autonomous driving in your um, job description. So what fascinates you about it? Yes, so the challenge uh, of the technology. Yeah? So mm -hmm. as I said before, I'm basically responsible for the functional mm -hmm. safety. Uh, so with all of the systems that I have mentioned, the radar, mm -hmm. ra uh, LiDAR, camera, electric power steering, uh, my team and myself, we are always, let us say, very strongly cooperating with the team, with different domains, mm. with system, mechanical design, software, hardware, testing. And uh, we see uh, this fascinating transformation of the automobile uh, industry towards autonomous driving. Mm. And uh, especially for safety, it's very challenging because yeah. a lot of complexity dimensions yeah. are there. So uh, the first topic is uh, the limitation of the sensor technologies, yes. So, for instance, radar has its pros and cons, mm -hmm. camera its own pros and cons. You cannot be uh, never 100% sure that you recognize the whole environment yeah. with only one technology. So, how to put it together, how to make it safe. The other topic you also will hear and you've heard yeah. on the conference, artificial intelligence, sure. how to do it safe. Yeah. Can I really trust into mm -hmm. artificial intelligence? Then the localization, GPS, GSNN. Um, and so on and so on. And one final thing, of course, also legal aspect, regulations, ethics. So a lot of uh, different challenges. So it's going to be fascinating for the next years to solve them. So never a dull moment, more or less, yeah. in this field of autonomous driving. You, Absolutely. Yeah, you spoke a lot about technical and yeah business challenges that we are facing in the industry right now, which is also more or less a topic of your case study that you're presenting deep learning neural networks functional safety for level five autom autonomous driving can you just explain that a bit yeah so we see this um, artificial intelligence deep learning topic as uh, crucial and mandatory mm -hmm. to get uh, to higher level of autonomous uh, autonomous driving i would even uh, say today it's a must for level four sure. level five without it it will be a uh, hardly possible and um, it's also a big topic on different conferences and we have recognized these topics for us uh, already two three years ago i mean the combination mm -hmm. safety and artificial intelligence and we are working on the topics and we wanted to provide some uh, solution approaches mm -hmm. that is uh, what the talk from us is going to be about uh, because we have seen uh, there are a lot of talks on different conferences focusing on that's the challenge, yeah. that's the problem. And we would like also to show the challenge and problem, but also some of the solution approaches for that. Can you share some solution pro approaches with us? Just one or two examples. The solution approaches that we have thought about, yeah, they are basically uh, especially considering the points of uh, independence mm -hmm. of the training data that are used to train the yeah. network and also of the verification data because uh, I want also to verify that the network is really recognizing yeah. the f things correctly. And uh, you can imagine if the databases are very similar, then yeah. you cannot trust the results. Another topic is also to have, let us say, 
a completeness of this uh, training and verification databases mm -hmm. that you really don't miss, let us say, obvious scenarios that will yeah. be done uh, in the real life and so on and so on. So uh, in our contribution, I believe uh, we will have uh, five uh, different problems uh, with some solution approaches, mm -hmm. solution proposals. Yeah. And is AI really like the key player in achieving this autonomous driving that is also safe? Or should we yeah, look out for, for different challenges or for different trends? Yeah, so this AI topic is one of the trends. Mm. For my personal opinion, mandatory for the high level autonomous mm. driving. I mean, today we don't really have this level yeah. four and level five, uh, maybe on, in some small constrained areas only, uh, but not in the real life. Mm. And we will need some years to accomplish that. But I believe uh, artificial intelligence is uh, really mandatory for that because um, as a software designer, software developer, if you develop an algorithm for yeah. perception, for instance, or for building uh, of objects from the yeah. raw data, you will fi uh, think about some of the scenarios. Mm -hmm. But it's impossible uh, to really have all of the possible yeah. scenarios in mind. And imagine what happens if uh, the car is facing a new scenario. It is, let us say, not considered in the software algorithm. How do you react? It's basically yeah. not there. So yeah. that's the problem of the tra uh, traditional software engineering. With artificial intelligence, you have at least a chance, it's not easy, mm -hmm. that's clear, um, that this artificial intelligence, that deep uh, neural network, for yeah. instance, it is trained, it is learned, yeah. it, uh, we have teached it. So it's also basically able to cope with scenarios that have been not, uh, let us say, defined up front. Mm -hmm. And that is the key uh, point that will be needed in order to cope with the challenge of level four and level five uh, autonomous driving, from my point of view. So will we have like, at some point, an uh, autonomous driving car or a level five, four car that recognizes, let's say, almost all of the thinkable scenarios? Or is there still something we need to do in order to get the algorithms or the AI to that? The way is still uh, long from mm -hmm. my point of view and my experience. Uh, let me give you two examples. Yeah, sure. yeah? So um, today, uh, we would, from my point of view, not uh, be able to say we can trust the a uh, deep uh, network, deep mm. learning uh, network to learn also, let us say, I will call it online during driving the yeah. car by the end customer, you yeah. or myself. Yeah? yeah. If it would learn, we would have, for instance, the risk that maybe at the start when the car has mm. been sa uh, sailed to us, that it was really performing very well and it has been yeah. validated. But during the way, it's learning new situations yeah. and getting worse than at the beginning. So how yeah. to cope with that? This is yeah. one of the challenges. Uh, and uh, I believe for the next years, we will, we will uh, be trying to handle that. And uh, this will be very challenging and fascinating. One of the delegates said, computers are stupid or like toddlers. So you have to really explain everything to them, which is, of course, fascinating on one hand, because you get to learn about the world in a new way, but also yeah, exhausting. And you never know what yeah, they are thinking right now or what they are facing right now, because for you it's already there, the knowledge. So how can we cope with that? How do we get all the knowledge into that algorithm to yeah. learn, yeah, to teach our toddlers more or less, so our autonomous driving toddlers? <laughs> you basically des uh, described the biggest challenge, yeah, okay. because the human factor is really there. Yeah, mm -hmm. We are able to make decisions uh, within milliseconds sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and based on our experience, uh, also, I believe, uh, based on the experience from different scenarios, not only from mm -hmm. driving the car. This is where we come to one of the challenges that I have mentioned, yeah, this ethics yeah. Uh, yeah. dilemma. Yeah? So uh, the classical example is it's a little bit, of course, artificial, but let us say we have a level five autonomous yeah. driving car and let us say we cannot prohibit the accident and we have now two possibilities. There are some small children from the mm. kindergarten going and maybe one old uh, grandma yeah. uh, through the street. Yeah? Whom do I hit? Yeah? Yeah. It's a very, very, let us say, <laughs> yeah. artificial scenario, but also I believe also a human driver uh, in the instant yeah. would not be able yeah, to make no, the right decision. No. Yeah? I mean, what is right in this scenario is also yeah, the question. This is also the dilemma. Yeah? Yeah. I also don't know <laughs> the answer. Yeah, so. This is uh, okay. absolutely an artificial, let us say, uh, 
use case, but I could imagine many use cases that go in the uh, um, similar direction, mm. and that is one of, of, uh, of the further challenges. Yeah? And I believe we are now doing it stepwise. Mm -hmm. We cannot expect that uh, in one or two years we will have the ultimate silver yeah. bullet solution, yeah, but uh, it's going to be several years of research. But we need to set for us high goals, mm -hmm. and then we will reach... Uh, more than if we would not be doing anything yeah, and sure. i believe uh, the whole industry is uh, doing a lot of research and a lot of uh, steps forward uh, on this so hopefully in five ten or twenty years we really have a safe car without hopefully that dilemma that's the big vision we are looking forward to. okay yeah. wonderful then i hope you enjoy the rest of the tech id and thank you for this quick chat thank you very much indeed thank you yeah.